All right, time to get back into that electrical. Okay, time to get rid of the bulkhead. Hey guys, back on Yola doing a little work on the DC power system. This is part two of my DC power system, uh, replacing the all of the positive cables, all of the negative cables onto the DC bus bar, and we're gonna install the power board. All right, back in the engine room of Yola. Working on the DC power system. All of these negative wires need to get tied onto my negative bus bar on my power board. And all of these DC wires that come from my switch, which is in my quarter berth, need to get tied onto my lithium batteries. All right, guys, if you saw my first video in the DC uh, disassembly, uh, at the very end, I showed you the power board that I built. This power board is basically built around a Blue Sea Safety Hub 150. It has a whole bunch of fuses in it with a waterproof cover on it. Uh, this side is my negative DC bus, and this is going to power my DC power panels. There's four separate, each panel has two separate feeds, and this holder holds four fuses. So I'm going to use those to feed the panels. Uh, on this side, we've got the negative bus, and the battery, negative side of the battery connects here. Um, this is the old DC shunt that was in the boat, and it was connected to a Victron BMV 700. Now, I'm going to move that to a different location, and I don't want to lose it. That's why I've put both shunts in series here. This shunt is a new Victron Bluetooth shunt, so if I want to use my phone on board... Uh, I can communicate with it and it will show me all of the stats of what's happening with the power. Uh, this old one, what it's going to do is it's going to allow me to retain the BMV 700. So if I don't want to pull my phone out and connect to it with Bluetooth, I can just, if I'm inside the boat, I can just take a quick look and it'll show me what the battery condition is. So this is going to go down inside my engine room on the wall of the quarter berth, just above the start battery. And all of my feeds are going to get tied onto that. All right, finally got my power board in here, so it's going to sit right above the start battery. I'm going to have to modify this little tray here so it doesn't run into the bottom of the DC shunts or these other fuse holders. But uh, now I can start tying on all my negative wires onto the, to the negative DC bus. All right, now I've got all my DC wires, all my negatives tied onto this bus bar. And they're all crimped with heat shrink crimps. And now time to do the positive side. All right, I think I'm gonna end this video right here. Thanks a lot for watching to the end. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next week for some more uh, sailboat DIY.